Welcome to a special London edition of Sporty News. Today, we look at Sangha, TP and Kids, Cristiano Ronaldo and his nightclub, Laure Manodou warns her brother against burgers, Andy Murray is the man for the situation, and Canisares goes a bit too far. It's set in stone. Every summer, French champions open the Kinder Village, which welcomes children from July the 8th to August the 18th, helping around 1,000 of them go on holiday thanks to French charity Le Secours Populaire. Four stellar patrons, Tony Parker, Joe Wilfred Sanga, Tony Estangui and Leji Ducouré, stopped off at the Kinder Village in the lot garonne region on their way to London to spend some time with some of the lucky young holidaymakers. We were having dinner at the cafeteria, and that's when they all arrived. And he just ran towards them for autographs, the cap and the shirt. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to have his very own nightclub in the south of Portugal, in one of his favorite holiday spots. The club will be called Seven in reference to his lucky number. CR7 hasn't exactly garnered unanimous support for his project. The president of the Association of Nightclubs of the Southern Algarve region, where the venue will be located, has already expressed his discontent. He claims the club will be unfair competition and use temporary and illegal licenses. We understand his concern. Cristiano should have no trouble filling up his club, which is set to boast no less than two VIP lounges. Let the battle of the nightclubs begin. London 2012 will be Laure Manodou's third Olympic Games, but this competition is set to be slightly different. For the first time, her younger brother Florent will be there, having also qualified for the swimming event. We dreamt of competing at the Olympics together since 2004. It was stressful in Dunkirk because not only did I have my races, but he also had his. And the competition was pretty intense for the men, so it wasn't easy. But I'm thrilled to be sharing these games with him and the entire French team. With three Olympic medals under her belt, the 25-year-old knows all the pitfalls and has already shared some of her wisdom with her brother. Everyone knows that there's an all-you-can-eat McDonald's in the Olympic Village. Flo and I were on a slippery slope in Riccione because we had to watch our weight and we have a tendency to eat a lot of sweets. So I warned him about that, to watch out for that. Now there's some good sisterly advice. After his loss in the Wimbledon final, it's no wonder Andy Murray was a bit downcast. He was seen shedding a few tears before Roger, the king of the grass, brandished the winner's trophy, reclaiming his position as world tennis number one. On a positive note, it's the farthest Andy's ever been at Wimbledon. And although he didn't win the tournament, the British number one wrote in his column for BBC Sport, I'm more determined than ever to make sure I'm the guy lifting the trophy next time round. Before next year's Wimbledon comes around, he still has another shot at glory at the end of the month at the London Games. A worthy challenge for the ambitious tennis champ. Come on, Andy, you can do it. But returning to the world number one, Roger Federer, whose class and tennis style never fail to impress. Here's an extract of an episode of Up Close with Roger Federer that you can enjoy here on Trey Sports. Here's what Roger had to say when we asked him what fame means to him. I think it's something you really have to get used to, is becoming popular and famous and, let's say, good at something. Because early on, it's your, your wish to break through, it's your dream to maybe be like someone else or to have equally good success and winning Wimbledon and all those things. And then you realize there's so much more to it. You know, there's promotions you need to do, there's appearances you need to do, there's red carpets you need to, or you should attend. You don't have to do anything really, but you should, you know. And next thing you know is you're, you're stuck in a suit and you feel uncomfortable at, a, at 19 years old. And that's kind of how I felt early on. So I don't think I had to change very much over all those years. Former Spanish goalkeeper Santiago Canizares caused quite an internet sensation when he posted a picture of his wife taking a shower on Twitter by mistake. As a result, the social networking site went berserk with a record 178,000 views in a matter of minutes. In short, within 10 minutes, his account was completely saturated. The clumsy husband immediately took down the picture, but too little, too late. We're not sure his wife was thrilled with extra exposure. Ah, Twitter. 